Okay, so it looks like you're dealing with new beginnings here. And you may have just recently gone through some kind of divorce or some kind of separation, and you're starting afresh. You're looking for that sense of fulfillment, so this has been playing on your mind quite a bit. And there's been a lot of hidden secrets that you've been uh, that have been coming to light recently. So you are starting afresh and facing a lot of uh, truths uh, that have been hidden from you. So in the past, you've had now this completion of a cycle. So this uh, a cycle uh, with this particular person has now come to an end, and you've been trying to get back your control as well. Now going to the future, like I said, there, you are still dealing with this divorce situation that you're going through, uh, and there's been uh, a few uh, unexpected obstacles or delays that you have been facing recently. So uh, this might be coming in for you uh, in those two weeks. So these are the energies for that two weeks, trying to get back control and start Starting afresh uh, seems to be the main theme or the main energies during those two weeks. So this is the Romantic Tarot. I'm going to do the main read with it. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so you've got uh, the King of Cups over here, and this could be uh, the person that um, you're dealing with at the moment in your life. So maybe somebody has come in. This could be a water sign person. Uh, this could be um, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces energy coming in over here. A very independent thinking man. This could also well be somebody that you're getting advice from. So this could be a counselor or somebody from the medical field uh, that you're dealing with or getting some advice to help you go through a situation. So there could be two possibilities. This could be a water sign person that you're dealing with, or this could be that you're going and asking for some counseling or some, some support. The King of Cups is usually a very supportive man and very, very, you know, he listens to your emotions, but they don't get emotionally involved within that situation. So I, I, I would rather think that this is more a person that you are getting some kind of support from, some kind of advice. It could be somebody older than you, and they're allowing you to get some clarity, and they're allowing you to, uh, you know, balance your emotions. Now, this could be a father figure as well. Uh, somebody that's very paternal, uh, and uh, this might be somebody, not necessarily a professional counselor, but somebody that you're asking for some kind of advice, some kind of emotional advice from. So what's happening with you? You've got this uh, Ten of Cups. So this is ending, uh, you know, having ended a very, very difficult uh, situation that you went through. Now, it looks like there's somebody else that you have your sights on. So you have, uh, you know, you are attracted to somebody. So although this is the Ten of Cups and it's the ending of a difficult situation, it's also the beginning of a new situation. So uh, a new beginning coming in for you. Uh, there's somebody that, um, you know, who is very, very attracted you are very attracted to that person is very very intuitive uh, you haven't revealed how you feel about them you're still you know um, dealing with your uh, issues right now but you are uh, you've got your eye on them and um, you've got this uh, ace of rods over here so maybe you know you want to start a new relationship with this person uh, this could be that there's a lot of sexual attraction going on over here because it's the ace of rods uh, you know the idea of, uh, of this person you might be a bit obsessed with this person or but infatuated with this person rather so it looks like you've got your sights on them and you know you want to start something that is going to um, uh, progress so uh, you know maybe very sexually attracted to them and you do want to start some kind of relationship you have a lot of admi admiration for them they have some kind of skill uh, or some kind of uh, something that's very attracted that you are very attracted to they are very very psychic as well and this could well also be a water sign person uh, too so if this king of cups is not a counselor or it's not somebody that you're getting advice from it could be this new person that's coming to your life that you have uh, you know developed some kind of feelings for so in the past, uh, you've got this uh, page of cups over here. So, uh, you know, this could be that you were um, going out for, you know, these are social invitations that come in. Uh, the page of cups usually brings in some kind of message, some kind of social invitation. But it also could be about studying and work. Uh, orientated thing. So uh, the Page of Cups is also about learning uh, and maybe that's what you've been doing and meeting people through uh, through study. So you may be taking on new courses uh, and this is where you're meeting all these people. You're definitely spending a lot of time uh, socializing with them or, um, you know, you've been accepting these um, these invitations uh, to spend more time with these people. Um, and you've got the, the full card over here. So you are starting something brand new over here. You're starting a new cycle in your life, taking that leap of faith, uh, you know, going for it. Uh, 
uh, regardless of what anybody has said. So, uh, you know, you're, you're coming across as somebody that is, um, you know, uh, abandoning that past that you went through. You've ended your cycle and you're going to be starting something fresh, something new. So on your mind, you want to reach, uh, this is uh, uh, the king of pentacles over here. So you are very ambitious and you do want to reach the top of your profession. Um, you know, this is what you are aiming for to, uh, you know, um, make a lot of money. And you are very, very work focused as well. So this has been on your mind. This is where you want to be at you want to be at the top of your profession, be in a very uh, high leadership position um, and, uh, you know, really sort out your finances as well. So the King of Cups is, you know, um, very financially well off. They're in charge of things. They're very practically minded, which you are being a Virgo. Uh, so this is where you're aiming for. So whatever level of um, uh, career you're, go you're at, you're, you're aiming for that. That's where your sights are. And, and you're very focused on it. You are very single minded about it. So going into the future, it looks like there is some kind of relationship coming in. Now, it, it might be uh, somebody that you meet in on the work front. So you might be working with this person. Uh, you know, maybe messages coming in from this person. This person is whispering in this little girl's ear. So you might get an invitation from this person. And um, since, um, where is it? Since you've got this uh, um, a page of cups over here, this might also be that this person asks you out because this might be a, you know, a request to go out with this person. Now, you know, you are still um, very uh, much in charge of your life because this little girl is uh, um, driving these goats with this, um, she's got the reins in hand. Uh, and uh, this person might appear to you as though they're not very focused because you can see the goat on his side is, you know, eating grass over there and he seems to be not so much, uh, not so interested in what's going on, on getting on. But, you know, you seem to be very career focused and, you know, you, it doesn't seem like you want, um, you know, to uh, um, be distracted by anything. Uh, so uh, this person might be asking you out. You might be working with this person. So uh, there is somebody that it looks like there is somebody that you're working with that's going to be asking you out. Um, and maybe they're at the same level as you are. Uh, maybe you don't feel that they are that um, that focused or that serious about what they're doing. Uh, and, um, you know, you want to still, you're, you're very determined to get to the top because you want to get to this position of being the king of pentacles and maybe you don't have the time to deal with people that are dilly-dallying along the way. You're, you know, you have your goal and that's where you're focused on. So it looks like some kind of new um, uh, relationship coming in and also, uh, you know, you needing to make a decision about whether or not you want to accept this kind of invitation that comes in for you. So you've got the Nine of Swords over here and, you know, you're a very, very, um, the Nine of Swords is a card about mental anxiety and being, uh, you know, uh, looking at things in this particular card. It's about seeing things in the mirror reflected to you and not seeing, um, you know, they're, they're not being exactly what they appear to be. So, you know, you might be in a situation where uh, you are viewing the, uh, viewing the scenario and you're not really... Um, seeing it the way everybody else is. Maybe you are looking too deeply within that situation. Maybe this particular invitation hasn't got all the implications that you uh, think it has. So it might not be a bad relationship. Um, and, but what you're seeing, you know, you're seeing all the negativity of it rather than seeing the positivity of it. So, and you're very anxious with the sword of, uh, Nine of Swords is a person that has all these fears, all these anxieties. They don't want to do something. They, they're stuck in that particular thing, expecting the worst case scenario. So maybe this relationship that is going to be coming in is not like that at all. It might be something that uh, is better than you think. Uh, and, you know, because you're viewing it from a, a negative perspective, you think that it's not going to work out or everything is not exactly as how it seems that there might be deception. But maybe it just is what it is. It is a good relationship. Maybe this person just wants to ask you out because they are attracted to you as opposed to having some kind of hidden agenda. So maybe it's time to let go of all those fears and anxieties and take that leap of faith because you have the full card of here. And that is, uh, you know, you do want to take that leap of faith, uh, but you need to not be so suspicious of people around you. So you've got the Eight of Cups over here, and the Eight of Cups is really walking away from difficult situations. And in this card, it's about getting on and having some fun with people. Uh, you're not being too 
serious about things you know lots of people that you're going to meet are not going to be upfront about certain things you can see these women are wearing masks so they're not going to reveal everything to you but maybe you know by walking away from uh, all your past problems and anxieties and just letting your hair down and having a good time might be the way to move forward so this is about socializing and uh, meeting people not getting too serious with them just having a good time and this looks like it's coming in for you uh, and but you want that control you want you've got that emperor card over here you know you want to be in charge you you want to be very serious you can see this man looks extremely serious about what he wants to do this emperor you know uh, so <clears throat> you might be uh, looking at the situation um, and trying to get too much of control over it overthinking the situation over analyzing the situation you know Virgo is a sign of being very analytical and, uh, you know, that might be coming into all your relationships that you're seeing. You're seeing, um, you know, you're, you're looking too far ahead into the future rather than living for the moment. So going into the future, you've got the chariot card over here, the four um, of rods over here and the nine of pentacles. Now, if you just relax, all these cards that come out uh, as a final outcome are really very nice, very good. And they seem to lead up from this uh, two of coins card. So making the decision with somebody else, with this person, it looks like that relationship is going to end up being something stable. So this card um, follows that card. So where you have the goats over here, you've got the oxen. So something stable, something strong, something built on trust. And you can see this person taking, uh, you know, um, um, moving forward in life because the chariot card is about, uh, you know, establishing stability and security and achieving that goal, achieving, uh, you know, the things that you want in life. And, you know, they have this big stack of hay, so they have got a lot of abundance. So it looks like if you start this relationship, it's going to end up in something that is long term, something that's committed and something that is very strong. And it might well end up in a marriage because you've got the four of, um, rods over here, uh, you know, something that's going to be established committed and maybe something that you've been waiting for and you've got the nine of coins over here so this is showing you know that independence and recognition and it seems like this couple is getting along very very well too you know they 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 click with each other they are on the same page and everybody is admiring that relationship so if you take that chance if you take that leap on this new relationship it looks like it's going to end up into something really long term something that you've always wanted something established and something where you get along with this person you know it's almost it almost seems like it's a divinely guided uh, relationship and it looks like it's going to be ticking all the boxes and um you know um becoming that relationship that you've been waiting for all your life so maybe it's time for you not to be so suspicious of what is going on and just take that leap of faith and go for it this might be a small beginning because it's a very young beginning uh, but it looks like it might end up in something really good uh, you know something uh, with this nine of pentacles very financially abundant as well uh, so you know a marriage coming up over there a long-term relationship some security coming in over there so it's about time that you know you let go of all your past fears uh, and start um, you know uh, moving forward and uh, you know not being suspicious uh, expecting um, you know the worst to happen don't over analyze the situation take that leap of faith so um, I've got some cards from the angel, uh, guardian angel tarot. And the first one is the six of action. What a wonderful experience for you. Um, your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone can help you with your office, uh, if someone who can help you offers you assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. So it looks like, you know, you're going to be completely successful if you start this relationship. And it looks like this particular relationship might well be something that is divinely guided. And the second card is the Ten of Thought. A situation that has been troubling you has now come to an end. You can breathe a sigh of relief with challenging times behind you. You can now move on. It is very important for you to fully let go uh, at this particular moment. So it's time for you to let go of all that negative thoughts and for you to move forward. Uh, put the past behind you, sever, cut that past out and start having some hope for the future. And don't be negative. Don't overanalyze things as well. And this is manifest your own dreams. This is the magician card. 
you are ready to go and there is no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps towards the changes you desire, even if they are small steps. Notice the signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as the resources and supports uh, that uh, mir miraculously appear. So it seems like, uh, you know, the magician card is coming. Whatever you wanted in a relationship is about to manifest and you are working very hard on it. So the one, the magician is the card of one. So it's the beginning of this new relationship and you have manifested it. All the things that you seem to be asking for seem to be appearing as a final outcome over here. You know, that stability, that marriage, and also that financial security that you seem to be asking for. So this is something that you have manifested yourself. And now you need to take that leap of faith and not uh, overanalyze it and not second guess yourself. So if there's a relationship that presents itself to to you go for it and uh you know don't be negative about it be really positive and optimistic and things seem to uh things are going to work out for you so i hope that this reading has resonated uh, uh please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching